So we found an African sulcata tortoise about a week ago. He came up to, maybe a week and a half ago, he came up to our back fence. And we put out um, some found ads, and we did find that he belonged to a neighbor. And they said we could have him because they're moving. And they were wondering what they were going to do with him. His name is Bob. We were calling him Crunch, so we've kind of started calling him Crunchy Bob. He's there eating his grass that I picked for him. We don't have a lot of grass here in the desert, so um, it had recently rained a few weeks ago, and we um, a lot of these weeds and grass started growing, so he does have some fresh grass. But I wanted to put this video together just to show you the habitat we're putting together for Crunchy Bob. And um, it starts with pulling his grass up if he can't find any in the yard, and I give that to him several times a day. I just throw down a pile for him and we also give him some veggies. But we needed to set up a habitat for him so he'd be safe and he seemed to like this one bush in our yard and we weren't doing a whole lot with this area so we decided to set this up as Crunchy Bob's habitat and as you can see we're um, digging up. We have a lot of rocks. We're digging up all the rocks. We've cleared this area out. There was a big bush in the corner um, and this area here that you're looking at we're going to plant Bermuda grass and some turtle grasses. So he'll have a big, nice uh, patch of grass to eat from every day. They eat 80% of their diet or 85% of their diet should come from grasses and only 25% from veggies. Um, so we need to plant some grass for Crunchy Bob. Over here, we've created this, uh, this panel. My husband came up with this panel to put around so they can't he can't see out. Apparently if uh, tortoises can see out, they want to get out. So they'll push through fences and that sort of thing. So this is just to keep a barrier up so he doesn't feel frustrated um, by seeing out across the fence. This is his soaking tub in case he decides to do so. It's shallow. He can walk right in and soak if he wants to. He can also drink out of that. It's actually the bottom of an igloo, a dog igloo. And then over here, he seemed to really like this area here under this bush to sleep in. So we went ahead and created him a den out of his doggy glue that his previous owners gave us. But we disguised it a little bit so that it still feels like it's the bush to him. So this is our, I'll try to get in here. This is the den we created for him. Don't know if you can see that or not, but we put some hay in there and I put some more, um, twigs and branches and stuff in there so he thinks he's under the bush but he's a little more secure and uh out of the elements here in this igloo and he seems to like it i've had to show him it a couple of times because he didn't quite understand where to go but uh, overall he's getting the hang of it so this is crunchy bob's uh, new habitat and we're going to be putting up more rock walls so he can't get out um, to the rest of the yard only when we want him to um, but this is going to be his his major area that he's, he'll stay in. So that's um, the start of our Crunchy Bob habitat. And I'll keep you posted as we start adding more things and as he um, and let to let you know how he does and how he likes his new place. Give you one more shot of Crunchy Bob eating his grass. He just warmed up for the day, and he's doing great. Thanks for watching.